The heart of India lies in its villages. Since independence, various governments have made efforts for rural development in different ways. But Prime Minister announced a scheme in his Independence Day speech from the ramparts of the Red Fort in New Delhi, which is more in tune with the present needs of rural India. It is the Sansad Adarsh Gram Yojana or the Parliamentarian Model Village Scheme. The thought behind the scheme was to develop all villages on the lines of those 5 to 10 villages in each state which are already developed. The scheme is inspired by the vision and ideology of Mahatma Gandhi. It envisions villages which are an ideal mix of heritage and modernity. Here's how the scheme has been conceptualized to convert villages into models of development. A village development plan has to be created for each other gram while each village needs to develop a list of activities to be carried out based on its own resources and requirements. Possible activities that they may zero in include providing universal access to basic healthcare facilities, promoting diversified livelihoods, skill development, providing pension for all eligible families, housing for all and promoting social forestry for all-round development. This would mean availability of basic amenities like schools, hospitals, roads, playgrounds and toilets in each home and all public places in the villages selected under the scheme. Apart from this, all poor households would be assisted to break the stranglehold of poverty. In a model village, not only will educational facilities be available for all, but illiteracy will also be imparted. Quality health services will also be available, ranging from maternity health care to protecting children from malnutrition. Besides these facilities, residents of model villages shall be motivated to inculcate some personal values so that they can inspire others to emulate them. The scheme envisions equality and respect for women leading to social justice, steps to improve the environment and maintenance of peace and harmony. It also aims to encourage transparency and accountability in public life. The time frame decided for the scheme's implementation is such that it covers a large number of villages within a short span of time. Under the scheme, each MP needs to adopt a Gram Panchayat by 2016. That means by 2016, MPs would have selected 793 Gram Panchayats. Since each MP is supposed to select two more Gram Panchayats by 2019, a total of 2,379 gram panchayats will be developed into model villages by the end of that year. And by 2024, 6,344 gram panchayats will be developed into model villages. In all, there are 2,65,000 gram panchayats in India. A national monitoring center and a web-based monitoring system will be set up to monitor the scheme's implementation. If state governments pitch in, the scheme can reach more Gram Panchayats in a short span of time. If all MPs, MLAs and MLCs join the scheme, over 5,000 Gram Panchayats will develop by 2016. The scheme is revolutionary since it envisions all-round development. This will not just develop Gram Panchayats holistically, but also strengthen democracy. Newsnight Desk, DD News.